All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Okay, so one of the things that our resident unicorn fairy mermaid Erin has been doing is a lot of projects with WLED. She really loves it. It's really easy to set up and use, and it has animations. And so she did this um, holiday garland uh, project, and she's done a lot of projects with WLED. Um, but one thing that she said is like, it's really annoying to use our feathers and wire them up because there's all this like power splitting and like sometimes you need level shifting. She said, can you make a WLED board that's like really good? Uh, and so I'm like, okay, let's try. So this is my attempt to make a WLED board. That's not necessarily like wearable, but it, like you could have it be portable. So it's not like it's a gigantic thing. And one of the things I thought would be cool is if you could use uh, USB type C, so you could use like laptop batteries or like, you know, things to charge iPads and stuff, because it'll give you five, 12 or 20 volts. It'll give you a lot of current. So you could use USB PD. So this is a USB power delivery client chip that'll let you select which voltage you want. Um, so you could use it with 12 volt or 24 volt pixels. 20 volts is a little bit lower than 24, but I found that 24 volt pixels are, are fine at 20. You could also use uh, USB DC, 2.1 millimeter, if you, you want like an outlet or like a, a AA battery pack. And you know, reset and like an input button and then a USB, sorry, ESP32 with a USB serial converter. So, you know, WLED supports like the C3 and C6 and stuff, but um, I found that like the ESP32 Classic is, is the best supported. Uh, Stomach QT for I squared C if you want to add like OLEDs or sensors, um, an analog or digital input. I'm thinking about adding this I2S microphone right on board so you can do um, audio reactivity. And I thought what would be really fun is have terminal blocks, and this is a nine pin terminal block because we have three signals, so you can have like really big, you know, animation streams. Um, and each one has its own power and ground. So it's really easy to wire this up for three different strands. Like you can wire them directly. You don't even have to share a terminal block. And then I have to do the di diode or for the power. That's kind of annoying because this should be able to handle up to five amps at like 24 volts. It's kind of a lot. And I think that's it. Maybe I have to also do like um, some power supply stuff. So I'm looking at some chips. This is a, I need a 3.3 volt uh, power supply. So this is a, step down converter that's fairly low cost. And I don't need more than um, half an amp, to be honest, uh, for all this because, um, well, I don't know, I'll check the ESP32, but I think it can, it's happy with 500 milliamps. I've run it off of 500 milliamps before. And then um, this is the diode or controller. So I'll need two of these and two end channel FETs to make the hot swap power, because I think that'd be useful. You could use either USB or DC. Anyways, I'm working on it. And if you have any suggestions or ideas, let me know. I've never designed anything for WLED before. This is my, my first attempt. Cool.